<laughs> Listen, guys, the next time you're having a bad day, go on over to Google and type in The Motley Fool and try to come up with an article for AMC. It's absolutely hilarious that one day, AMC can be the worst stock in the world, and the next day, AMC could double in 2021. So in this video, let's talk a little bit about what this article is saying here, why they think that AMC could double now, and I'm sure tomorrow we're going to see some bad news about AMC again, right? But then towards the end of the video, let's talk about the new chair for the SEC, because this could really change the way retail investors trade, and it could really have a big impact on the current investments that we have. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel, become a bro, we're here every single day and we're growing our portfolios together. Alright, so let's just jump right into this article here, I'm looking for stuff on AMC, I'm trying to figure out what's going on, what the latest is, and this says the three stocks that can double again in 2021, that's the name of the article, I'll link it down in the description below if you want to read the full thing. But it says, last year is a hard act to follow for most investors, but there are already nearly 100 U.S. exchange listed stocks with market caps above 300 million that have more than doubled in 2021. It'll be a challenge for most of them to hold on to their scintillating gains, but let's look at some of the names that could just be getting started. Oh, AMC could just be getting started? What? Who's this? He's probably going to be fired tomorrow, right? He's, I don't think he'll work for the, the Motley Fool anymore tomorrow. But they've got Upstart, if you want to look at that. They've got Funko, if you want to look at that. Number three, AMC Entertainment. Let's go through this real quick. It's not too long about what they're saying here. And then let's jump into some more important stuff. But it says, Upstart and Funko are two companies in early stages of growth, spur growth spurts. But AMC is one of the most investors associated with the end game for a fading industry. Even before the pandemic, folks were shying away from a night at the movies, AMC AMC revenue was flat in 2019 when the country's leading multiplex operator gaining market share as domestic box office receipts declined 5% that year. Now, the pandemic has been brutal for AMC and similar for its peers, and the near-term outlook is hairy. Consumers in movie studios are embraced, have embraced the digital delivery, but neither party has patience for traditional theatrical release windows where content would be shown exclusively on big screens for months and then hit other distribution methods. However, here comes the however in the last paragraph, right before they tell you, ah, before investing in AMC, check out these other stocks. However, we have seen movie theater crowds surge in international markets that are further along in the COVID-19 pandemic than we are. With 99% of AMC locations now open, studios are ready to trust exhibitors with hot products that they've been delaying during the lull. With an industry shakeout already eliminating, eliminating some of its competitors, AMC is going to have a big summer this year as folks begin to rediscover social gatherings. Folks, it's time to rediscover social gatherings. Maybe this guy at the Motley Fool knows something that we don't. Oh wait, no, we've been saying this all along. I love it, guys. You can find, you know, other YouTube channels that are bearish one day, bullish the next. Markets crashing one day, it's going up the next. You can find reporter after reporter that's going to say AMC stock is bad today, and maybe tomorrow it's going to be the best investment that you can make. Look, regardless of all of that, AMC Yes, it's a risky play, okay? A lot of fear, under, or fear, uncertainty, and doubt out there could drive the stock down. It could drive the stock up with the short squeeze. Look, the volatility is there. So if you're not willing to risk your investment, if you're not willing to hold on to your investment, it might be better for you to let that stock go right now or at least let a portion go so that you can sleep at night. Why? Because this is absolutely crucial to the short squeeze. Now, if you haven't, if you don't know too much about short squeezes, you can watch any of the other videos. But what's most important for a short squeeze to happen is investors need to hold the stock. Now, look, whether you believe the numbers that are being reported or you think the short squeeze, the short interest is much higher, the currently reported numbers are around 21 to 22 percent of the AMC float. Now, this is big because 
these are the numbers reported, right? There's a lot of conspiracies going on out there that the numbers are much higher than this, but I'm not going to jump into all of that right now. Let's go with what's being reported. 21% of the shares out there need to be covered by hedge funds. Now, if institu- or if re- or retail investors get a hold of the shares of AMC and they're not willing to sell the stock, the hedge funds and institutional investors must come in and offer higher and higher and higher prices until finally somebody is willing to sell. And then if they reach a point where the banks say, we've had enough, we can no longer risk our money, we need it back, we need that margin call to happen, the short squeeze will take place and the stock will go exponentially higher. Now look, a lot of people go out there and say $100 per share, $1,000 per share, $10,000 per share. Nobody exactly knows where the moon is right? Your, your hopes, you can get them as high as you want, but there will be a time when AMC squeezes if you hold the stock, plain and simple. Now look, we need to talk about this because the SEC just voted in a new chair. A new leader of the SEC is in town. They're calling it the biggest cop on Wall Street, right? And Listen, I'm going to do another video on everything on his agenda, what all he wants to accomplish. But look, this Gary Gensler guy, it gets a little sketchy, right? One of the things that they want to really look at is stock market manipulation and stock manipulation. And I'm not talking just about hedge funds. I'm talking about social media platforms coming here on YouTube, talking about what stocks we like. I'm talking about going on Reddit and talking about what stocks you're investing in. Twitter, it doesn't matter where you post your investments or what you talk about. They're talking about doing away with that because it's potentially manipulating the markets. So they think this goes both ways, guys. You know, listen, they've got, they, they're always going to tell you that their best interest is for the investor. Well, who do they consider the investor? Is it you and I? Is it the retail investor with a, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollar account or a couple thousand dollar account? Or is it the institutional investor who's got hundreds of billions of dollars in the market? Let's think about who they consider the investor. So they're looking out for the best interest of the investor, right? Now this means that when you and I get together and we talk about what stocks we like, and maybe we go on Reddit and talk about what stocks we like, and then we go out and buy that stock and squeeze out the hedge funds. They don't like that. They consider that manipulation much more than they'll ever consider dark pools and, and, you know, covering up short interest and credit swaps and whatever it is that you can think of hiding their leverage and blatantly going out and manipulating the prices of different assets. Whatever it is that you can think of that would be manipulation, they're always going to side on the side of money. Okay, That's the way it's always been, and that's the way it's always going to be. Money goes where money grows, and guess what? Where money is at is where it's going to grow. So they're going to, they're always going to side on the best interest or in the best interest of where the money's at, and they know that institutions make up that segment. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous, guys. They got a big agenda ahead. I'll do another video on everything that they want to look at. But move forward. I don't want to say cautiously. Move forward as we've been doing. Hold AMC stock. I really believe that we can trigger this squeeze. All we have to do is hold out. Have those diamond hands. If you're not willing to risk it, obviously get out of that asset right now. Let somebody who is willing to risk it hold on to these shares so we can finally see a squeeze happen. And look, I know I didn't mention anything about the upcoming vote for the additional 500 million shares, but make sure you vote no on that if you want to see a squeeze happen. I know a lot of people don't like to hear me say, you know, don't allow these 500 million shares to be issued. But look, the company's not face-to-face with bankruptcy right now. If they are face-to-face with bankruptcy or they come face-to-face with bankruptcy, they can always vote again. We can always reissue these shares if it means the survival of the company, but that's not what's at vote right now, okay? Let AMC bring in revenue. Let AMC take care of AMC. New investors don't need to pay the bills for AMC. AMC can pay the bills right now. They've got plenty of revenue coming in. You know, whether or not you believe Motley Fool, I do believe that there's going to be a lot of increased revenue over the summer with blockbusters coming out, with vaccines rolling out, with people not being as scared of COVID as they were before. And really, look, 
let's let's just put them to the test and see if they can do their job, right? All right, so with that being said, guys, if you like the content on the channel, don't forget to click that like button. If the subscribe button is still red, you've been here for nine minutes, subscribe to the channel, become a bro. We're here every single day and we're growing our portfolios together. And look, use that link in the description below for Weeble. Sign up, deposit $100, and you're going to get a couple free stocks valued at up to like $1,600 just for doing so. And they are giving away shares of AMC right now. So if you wanna join the movement, but you don't wanna go out and buy another share, Sign up for Weeble. You can get a free one just for signing up and making that deposit. And look, guys, if you're still here, share this video with somebody and tag me if you do it on social media. Tag me at Claybro or Claybro883 almost anywhere. I would love to follow you guys back and see what everybody's interested in investing in. Now, until the next time, I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.